Percy Whitsickle, Central Union Railroad Company. Howdy, viewers. Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video as I journey toward 100%. And it is interesting. I forget how vast the world of Red Dead Redemption 2 really is. And when you start to get into it, there's so many things you can actually miss, like some stranger missions. In getting 100%, you have to complete so many stranger missions. And this counts toward 100%, and it's something people overlook. There is a railroad company, and they're building a railroad. If you come here during the time they're building the railroad, they will be working, and you have your first encounter with Percy Whitsickle of the Central Union Railroad Company. They're building these tracks. Next time you meet up, they're a little further on down. Third time you meet up, they're wrapping up building the railroad. Thing is, these tracks will never be used. And when you play the epilogue, you won't be able to encounter these guys because the tracks already been built. So let's get on with the railroad company missions and see what happens. Hey, hey you, come here a minute. What do you need? Oh, oh, uh, thanks for stopping, sir. Thank you. Um, Percy Whitsickle, Central Union Railroad Company. Maybe you can help me. One of my... One of my... One of my workers has been stealing wages. Three weeks running. I have searched everyone and everywhere ten times over. Of course, no one is talking the way they look at me. What's all this got to do with me? Oh, uh, I just, I think I need someone a little more neutral, a little more persuasive. And, and, and you look like you're, uh, you know, and I got to watch the camp, so could you see what you could sniff out? I'll pay you for your efforts, of course. Yeah, I got it. What exactly is it you want me to do? Find the thief and recover the money. And give him his marching orders. I'm not one for matters of personnel. Look for anyone sneaking off the line. They've got to be stashing it away from camp somewhere. Well, can you help me? My head is on the block here. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. We offer you honest work for honest pay, and you steal from us. Disgusting. Come on. Come on. What are you doing over here? What are you doing? People say a criminal escapes from jail. Where are they? How tired of it? Or what would they capture them? If you're gonna talk, talk English! All right, I gotta go for a piss. I'll keep it. I'll hear it if you don't. This is where I make a mistake. Don't make the same mistake. I was looking at toward this guy to follow him and well he's the wrong guy to follow i should have gone a different direction 
And once I realized that following the junior foreman is actually opposite direction, I wasn't even paying attention to the radar, now I'm looking for an indication on the map, and I see nothing, so I begin wandering around the camp, and yeah, don't do that. Pay attention to the radar. The junior foreman walks opposite direction I went, and I finally have to figure this one out. I wandered around the camp for, I don't know, 10 minutes, and then I figured out, wait a minute, I got to walk over here, and now at the end of the tracks, I see, yep, using tracking ability, now I got to track the junior foreman, and that's what I should have done immediately was walk to the end of the tracks and started tracking the junior foreman. Don't do what I did. We end up wandering around the camp and you almost want to give up. So, yep, let's get on with this and follow this guy and find out what's happening. doing here doing your friend Percy a little favor he says one of the workers has been stealing I reckon I just found him stealing <laughs> what I, I'm the junior foreman here it's them orientals you want to speak to you ready to return that money you stole okay okay all right all right, I'm leaving. The money is in the tree. Just please don't kill me. You got the money, return to Percy, and you will get a decent reward. I got your money. Here. You're gonna need a new junior foreman, though. He just quit. Randall? I don't believe it. Well, that does explain a few things. Thank you for your help, partner. Here, for your trouble. Percy just gave Arthur half the money. Wow, that is really good. 50 bucks. Now, you encounter the railroad camp for the second time and well this happens we are scuppered this time properly scuppered the land up ahead got bought out from under us and we can't finish the track they won't admit it, but I just know this is old Leviticus Cornwall's doing. It has to be. Would you, uh, talk to them for me? I'll pay you well, I promise. Cornwall, you say? All right, I'll talk to them, but it may take a little... 
convincing. You do whatever you need to do. Okay, fella. Hey, you. What are you doing here? This is private property. You're, you're trespassing. Well, the boys at the railroad camp, they don't seem too happy. Looks like you're in their way. We own this land, so they ain't going any further. Oh, uh, you gonna live here all oh, happily ever after? Is that it? So what's it to you? You can drop the act. Everyone knows you're Cornwall's nursemaid, so why don't you run on home and go wash his fat feet? What the hell did you just say? You better start running, you son of a bitch. Must have got it wrong then. Apologies, boys. You know what? On second thoughts... On to the third and final encounter, which is actually kind of interesting. Oh, hey there. Look, we're nearly done. Would you believe it? I'm glad you passed by. We've got some leftover supplies. Feel free to help yourself to any of them. Least I can do for all the help you gave me. Yeah, I can take supplies from the supply tent. Where is it? There's no clear indication whatsoever. 
Yeah. That's kind of the fault of Red Dead Redemption 2. They could have put a yellow blip right on the supply tent. You probably could have lardered up with um, canned beans and whatever else you need. Yeah. I'm just going to wander around the camp and look for the supply tent. And this guy says nothing anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, well, subscribe and hit the bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and some other information. You don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for stopping by, and don't look for any more supplies. It's kind of boring. Well, I'll be seeing you then.